Hello guys, this is Hamoudi from Bilu Media. Welcome again to my channel. Today I have finally got my Beta FPV Pavo Pico. I am really excited about uh, this drone. I want this drone for smaller spaces and in the same time to be a good quality. So today I will walk you through what we have in the box and I will install the O3 camera and air unit on this uh, beauty. So let's begin with unboxing and see what's inside. This one is the version 2, so the latest version with the 20 amps uh, ESC on board. Here we have a TPU protection for your camera and some screws for the O3, I guess, but we will see in a second. And the antenna for the O3 air unit because these are a little bit uh, less heavy and you save some weight with this and this these are I think for the original antenna the support but we will see in a second here we have some props oh my god these are so tiny and here we have the USB adapter so you can connect it to your computer you can't you don't have a USB on the flight controller so this is the adapter here we have a protection lens, a battery, it's 450 milliamps 2S battery, but I have a 750 milliamps battery as well. I will test uh, that if it works good or not with this. And here is the drone. The drone comes pre-assembled, I mean the motors and the frame. And this is the antenna for the ELRS. I guess this is the small one. Mine came with the ELRS uh, receiver. It's built in the flight controller. And here we have the 1102 motors, 14,000 kV. And this is the F4 20 amps flight controller and DSC all in one board. And here we have two cages for the O3 unit so you put the O3 here and you attach it to the frame but we will see in a second and here you have a product support and instruction manual I think so you scan this and you see how the drone is assembled and that's it guys I ordered some more frames here is a clear white and these are clear gray i will paint these i don't know just for fun and to have different uh, style and i have here two more batteries and i have here some nd filters Let's start assemble the O3 unit and see how it flies. I took this O3 unit and camera and antenna from my HGLRC drone because I don't have that many O3 units. So first of all, we don't need this antenna. So let's go ahead and remove it. And for this, you have two screws here. You simply pop this out. And that's it. Now we are ready to install the other antenna, the smaller ones. You have this adapter if you choose to mount the big antenna, but I don't recommend this because this is really heavy. So let's install the small antenna. You have two here and you simply click them in place like this and put the cover back in. Now we are ready to put this uh, cage. It's good idea to cross the antennas like this so we'll, they will be shorter because you don't need so much cable. And you simply push the air unit in place like this. And that's it. I want to coil 
the cable there is a smaller cable a shorter one but i don't have one so i will use this one i hope the vibration from the motors will not be transferred through the cable to the camera and cause jello but we will see about this i am not sure which position i will use like this or like this i will try the upper position i mean the camera will be a little bit higher and if that didn't, doesn't work for me, I will uh, try the other one. You have some screws in the kit here for the O3. So those small ones are for the O3 camera. So it will look like this. We will see about the cable if uh, it is a problem to stay like this, but I don't think so. I already adjusted the angle a little bit so it will point up a little bit so slightly because this is a drone that i will use in uh, indoors and not not so aggressive so i don't need a big angle now we have those grommets that we need to put into the frame here it's an isolation dampening between the frame itself and the camera unit that hopefully will prevent the jello from happening the thicker part will come on top now we will use those screws to secure the air unit we have two uh, spare which is nice uh, the trick is to tighten the screws enough but not very much so the air unit uh, can wobble a little bit i mean uh, dampen so this is the front of the quad and the air unit will sit like this You see there is a little bit of vibration dampening but not so much i hope this is enough to get rid of uh, any jello and this is the protection for the lens you can put it on top like this so now the build is finished guys uh, one thing this is the cable from the dji for the dji air unit normally i will cut the cables uh, from the s bus this means i will not be able to use the dji rc2 but in this case the antenna is really small here is the antenna of the express lrs and i'm not sure about the range if my boxer elrs uh, controller will not uh, connect to the drone then i will cut it normally i i will cut this uh, these wires for all of my drones because i had problems in the past but here i want to try to leave it maybe i will use the radio from uh, dji the rc2 even if i don't really like it i really like the boxer and uh, dx16s uh, max so let's connect this one now so now it's connected let's connect the battery and verify so yeah the air unit is powered on which is nice i want to flash the elrs firmware mine with my uh, password my keyword so it will work with my uh, controllers and then we will see from there so now we have to go to express elrs uh, configurator you have to have the exact version on your radio so mine is 3.3.0 device category beta fpv and the device is the io i think this one 
And here you have to select a binding phrase. I already selected the binding phrase that is available, is the same on your radio. And select, select Wi-Fi and hit build. Now we have the build ready. Uh, what we need is to prepare the ELRS receiver here to connect so we can connect to it. So to do this, we have to get the ELRS receiver into binding mode. And to do this, we have to plug a battery and wait about 40 seconds. This is the ELRS light that will start blinking very fast when the unit is in binding mode. Now, as you can see here, the light is flashing very fast. This means that it is in binding mode. And if we go here to our network, we see Express ELRS RX. We connect to this and this window pops out. You can go also to your browser and hit 10.0.0.1 and the same page appears. Here, you have to choose a file since we built it already. And here is my file and we hit open and we click update. Now it's being flashed. and update succeeded. Now, if I turn on my Radio Master Boxer, as it has the same binding phrase, it should connect. Welcome to HTX. Switch warning, angle mode, air mode, turtle mode off, acro mode. Now I have to plug in a battery. The three dots here, that means that it's connected. It already has a uh, arming position for my switch, but it, it's the other, wa other uh, way around. So in the unarmed position, it will arm. So I need to change it to beta flight. Now we ha have to go to beta flight and do some configurations. So to connect it to beta flight, we need to use this adapter. We plug this cable here. This is provided in the box and we connect it here and now we can connect the drone the basic configuration we hit the calibrate accelerometer and reset axis to see if the drone behaves the same as in reality so if i tilt it like this like this like this like this so it's perfect now we go to ports as it worked, it is already set to UART3, which is the, our receiver. If you want to use the DJI remote controller, you have to turn, on, turn off this and turn on UART6, which is uh, connected to the DJI re receiver. And you have to go to the receiver tab and change crossfire to SBUS as the DJI receiver uses SBUS and not uh, Crossfire. This is for our um, ELRS receiver. So it is working. Here, um, we will not change a lot of things as it is working already. This one, I want to remove the air mode and I want to use it uh, via switch. So I will go to the modes tab here and this is what we have to change at least in my case in your case as well if you want the same uh, switches here is the arm switch in this position to be armed so we have to move this bar to the left and angle mode is this switch angle mode I wanted here in the middle position. Now the beeper is this one in my situation here. 
so we have to use this on auto and it will detect it is correct now I want to use this to activate the air mode and here it's active so we have to move it to this side and the turtle mode is the crash flip over after crash this one and it's correct like this and we hit save they tuned the quad already so i will leave it like this and maybe i will change the rate for more cinematic uh, rates but i will have to try it first let's see here if the motors are spinning in the right direction normally you have to be careful to remove the props in this step in this step but i will uh, hold the drone so this one is motor number one this one should spin that's correct motor number two is this one correct motor number three is this and motor number four is this and from what i see they are spinning in the right direction If your motors don't spin in the right direction, you have here the motor direction tab and go to wizard and you see all the motors and you can switch them, switch the direction over here. But because uh, it's already a built drone, beta flight, beta FPV uh, made the configuration for us. So this is it uh, guys for the configuration. I don't uh, think we need to mess around more since it is already configured and it's going. So let's go and see how it flies.